Hey guys, Jordan from Coldlytics, and today I'm going to show you how to target the best grocery stores, uh, best grocery store leads using Coldlytics. So let's get started. So we are going to Houston today as it's one of the fastest growing cities in the States. Um, perfect for, um, you know, new grocery stores going up. And we are going to extend this out to 30 miles as this is a massive metropolitan area. Um, I am going to hit next to lock that in. We are looking for grocery stores. Grocery stores, if I can spell. Uh, yeah, we see a lot of leads. Um, for instance, we see two food town leads, which I know is a national chain, but we're going to apply a filter to get rid of those. So uh, I'm going to hit next and lock that in. We're looking for owners and founders and directors and executives. We are looking for only one owner, but in case they have a C-suite title like CEO, um, it'll account for that as well. Filter. So the first one I want to do is I just want a Google review. Set this between a three and a five. That way um, you're working with a company that uh, has great client and customers relationships and they're going to have, you know, a good relationship with you at the end of the day. So next to lock that in, um, we are now going to franchise our national chains and we are excluding franchises and national chains. And finally, we are just going to set a um we are going to set a google map search position and i'm actually just going to set 15 uh for the higher end so we just don't want to work with companies lower that or that have you know higher than this because they clearly don't care about seo um with the excluding the franchises and national filters uh we probably just get rid of the top five immediately so i feel like we don't need to set this end of the filter so next to lock that in deliver honestly as grocery stores, you know, you could be a business trying to sell a service to a grocery store. You could be a marketer trying to sell a your marketing service to a grocery store. With that being said, I'm actually just going to go ahead and add all these. I think these are really great. For, uh, all these metrics are really insightful in this industry. Revenue, headcount, and data established are honestly like the biggest ones. Um, as you know, everybody needs food. So I feel like for grocery stores, marketing is like not super, super important like it is, but it's like not as much as like other small businesses trying to sell to, um, you know, the average consumer, right? Um, yeah, but revenue headcount kind of will determine your longevity for how long you're going to work with the company. Data salvage is good for, you know, seeing like how long they've been in the game. Um, for instance, like how long their company has been around. Adpixel is really useful too, just see if they care about marketing at all. If it's like a local grocery store. Google Analytics, e-commerce, WordPress, page speed, you know, what, you know, if they have an e-commerce or if they don't have an e-commerce service on their website, like you could offer to build that, you know, if you're a marketer, lots of great like metrics for narrowing down your hundred good leads to 20 great leads, search terms, search location, search position, also very important. So next to lock that in, we're not going to leave any additional notes, finish that. Make sure to give it a title, set your context required, save it as a draft, just in case when you launch it, you just so when you launch it, if you want to make a change, you can go back and, um, you know, change a filter and you're not setting from scratch as you can see here. So I'm going to launch that grocery stores in Houston, it's allocating, which means our team has it and they're working on it and it should be ready within 24 hours. So yeah, that's how you find the best grocery store leads using Coldlytics. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.